worth it and priceless and today I just want to come to you and give you encouragement not to settle um, I had a car it was a 2007 Impala and the Impala was good for the time that I had it but all of a sudden things started happening with the car and like the one uh, the driver's seat the back door wouldn't open and then the the thing that, that gets it out of the shifter or whatever stopped working and then one time when me and Vea was driving in the car the car actually shut down it was it was like anti-theft something and next thing I know we were driving in the car and it said the engine is shutting down and I'm like it's shutting down like I'm still in the car like you know but either way it, it was just basically a lot of problems just to give you a little background on it so um you know it's tax time so it's not even going to act like i like have like a million dollars it's tax time okay so i was like um i got my taxes and i was like i need to get another car because i was, was already thinking like that was like my major major goal and so i started looking on online or whatever so i never i never actually went and got a car myself i always went with someone um, to actually get the car or something like that. It's, I just never went by myself. So this would have been, this is my first year actually trying to get a car myself. So fast forward, I, I go on Facebook. I, um, you know, try Craigslist or whatever and nothing actually seemed to stick or whatever. And I was nervous because, you know, the whole car buying experience is a whole bunch of anxiety within itself. So I knew that my mechanic, um, he had cars. So I was like, um, I decided I went out and I went with Vea or whatever and we went to the mechanic and seeing if he had any cars. He said that he had like, he already sold some and he had one to sell possibly, but it was just like an A and B car. It was a car to basically get you there and get you back. That was it. Okay. So, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. And I looked at the car. <laughs> And the car had like all these scratches and dings on the side and then like the hood was coming up and then like it went into an accident like literally. And I was like, oh, no, no, not, not going to work. And so he was like, well, what's wrong with your car? And, you know, maybe we could just fix your car or whatever. So I told him, it, you know, the, the problems that I just had, but it was also I was smelling gas. So it was like, yeah, I could die. And it was like, so he was like, well, let me see what we could do and, you know, give you an estimate or whatever. So basically, it was $600 to get it fixed enough to pass the inspection. And the inspection would be in March, which is today. Uh, so, yeah. Or I, he could just fix the gas leak for about $100 and then, you know, he just buy me some time to figure out what I wanted to do. So I was like, just fix it for $100 and I'll figure out something. By the grace of God. Yes. Awesome. So I go back home, or actually before that, um, we get back into the car. I take Bea to, um, out to eat. And as I'm getting everything situated in the car, something was like, look back. So I look back at Bea. And if you see my daughter, I post my daughter on, on Instagram or whatever, or any of the sites, my daughter has beautiful eyes, but they're intense eyes and it was just like she was looking at me like she's depending on me what are you gonna do mom and I'm like okay you know what I mean and it was just like something like I can't settle just to get this car fixed because I was always afraid if something if even if I got it fixed to a good thing if something else was going to happen with it so anyway I went back home and after she went to sleep I went back online and started looking for a car I went back on Facebook did all you know the usual but this time, I um, I was looking at this this car dealership or whatever. But either way, it was a familiar face on Facebook, and it was a friend that I used to work with at Saks. His name was Nico, and he was uh, posting 
cars for this dealership. And I'm like, oh my God, I was just looking at cars at this dealership. And Nico actually worked there and I added him as a friend or whatever. And I was like, I was looking at cars at this dealership and this, that, and the third. And he was like, yeah, I worked there and I've been there for three years. I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? And so God allowed it for me to see my friend, you know what I mean? Made like that whole little, uh, uncomfortability -ness. <laughs> actually go away or whatever and basically next day I went and had an appointment with Nico paid for a car and I have a new car but that would have never happened if I would have settled and that's what I want to give you encouragement not even just about cars because cars is you know materialistic however you look at it but in my case I needed a car because my daughter she goes to school in Buffalo which is like depending on how you drive 25 35 minutes and if there's an emergency I need to get out there my old car I wouldn't have been able to do that and if you want to not look at materialistic possessions or anything like that let's look into your life it's familiar and unfamiliar or the unknown and a lot of times we will keep doing the familiar or what we're basically what we're used to and we're afraid to do the unknown but if we trust in God we will be able to actually do what is the unknown because you know that that God is already there if I would have tried to basically go on my own go to that dealership the day before or whatever it wouldn't have worked out because hey you know you never know it's like I wouldn't have possibly even known that Nico worked there or whatever whatever and who knows who I would have had like who knows but God worked it out and you look at like I said in the familiar and unfamiliar like a lot of times we will sit up there and we will keep at it and we'll probably keep putting in money or keep putting in time effort and energy whether it's in a relationship whether it's in a job because it is familiar but God is telling you right now he wants you to trust him to do the unknown he's going to do it for you all you have to do is step into it and just say hey I'm going to do it if I would have not said yes to that opportunity or whatever I'm like oh well you know I don't I don't really know then God wouldn't have been able to bless me and whatever so you know just basically trusting God and then the icing on the cake yesterday I um actually drove Vea in the car for the first time because I had to make sure I had plastic in the back because Vea has demolished my old car. <laughs> so at the end of the day, Vea didn't know that I had a new car or whatever. So put Vea into the car and she's like, she's looking around like, okay, like what is this or whatever. So she sits down and as you you know, you know, via situation, whatever. She really doesn't talk, but she loves gospel music and all of that. So we in the car, I'm turning on her music. Next thing I hear in the background is Miss Vea in the back. She's swinging this way and she's like, yes, yeah. I was like, all right, baby. Like she, <laughs> it was just the icing on the cake. So at the end of the day, you know, um, just, don't settle for something that you may not be happy with or something that's going to cause you trouble in the end, whether it's a car, whether it's your apartment, house or whatever. We not everybody's getting taxes or whatever. So you may not be able to whatever. And you know what I mean, but we all get blessings and miracles and open doors. So at the end of the time, just walk into it, just walk into it and just do what God has called you to do. Ask God what he needs you to do in this time, in this season in your life. And he will let those doors and those opportunities open for you, but they will never open if you don't say yes. So today, don't settle and say yes to what God has for you to do. And just remember that you are worthy, worth it, and priceless. And until next time, which should be next week because I'm on this consistency thing. Until next time.